So back in the late 1980s, I lived um, in a place which had a stream uh, coming into the garden and falling into another stream over about a four foot drop. So I decided to have a go at hydroelectric power in a tiny, tiny scale. And I used one of these, which is a Sturmy Archer dynamo hub or a dyno hub so you can see the wheel spokes came from here and from here and the, um, the body the central part stays stationary and the outer part with the magnets in it rotates and you get some sort of very low lighting power uh, from the output uh, and so I uh, and made this thing which has a turbine, a water turbine connected to it and the, the dyno hub part of it is in there protected by a, uh, a labyrinth seal to keep the water out of the bearings, another one this side and this was the final version and it looks scruffy because uh, that's how it came literally, I dismantled it when I left the place to move here I. Uh, that's how it came out of the stream and it's kind of uh, it's been sitting around uh, in my garage for 17 years and it's still amazingly the grease in the bearings still seems to be fine which is surprising so you can see it it's quite free moving and it you can see it bounces a bit when it stops that's the um, mag magnetic poles in there and the, and the iron cores causing it to bounce back and forth but um, free moving and this was the mark 4 i think yeah i think that's right and um coming up now is a slideshow uh, made up from some old prints i had of um how i arrived at the mark 4 i hope you um, enjoy bit of a view looking straight into the uh, cross flow turbine blades which are it's hard to see but they're slightly curved and uh, this is looking pretty rough I must admit that the, the um, I didn't have a proper workshop back then I only had hand tools and I plainly built it in a hurry because it looks to me like none of the blades are the same width and they're pretty pretty poorly made however it did run quite well in the end once i got the um uh, labyrinth seals you can see here and here um built uh before that uh there was water flying all over the place and it used to get into the bearings and um in spite of waterproof grease uh the bearings would 
crunch up and fail and I have to rebuild both both sets of bearings about once a year with the seals uh, to keep the water out um, simple uh, simple plastic seals like that uh, I think it ran for about three years at the end without me touching it once and that's um, 24 hours a day seven days a week all year and admittedly the power output was only two watts which is tiny however uh, it's a free two watts and it's there the whole time so I charged um, batteries with that and had it was quite a handy uh, source of very small but quite a handy source of power for this and that and uh, I learnt a load about uh, hydroelectric in the process with all the things that went wrong with it so there we are Thanks for watching.